So this is another um, interview. Welcome to our interview with Mr. Most from Mr. Most Realty. So Most, tell us about when you first came to Canada. How how much money did you have in your pocket when you first came to Canada? Hundred dollars. Wow. And you're now one of the top agents in Canada. Top real estate agents. What? How? How did you do it, Most? How did you go from, because who was here, I mean, did you have, when you first, when, what was the year they actually, what was the year you first landed in Canada? Mm, it's about 24 years ago. Okay. <laughs> who was here waiting for you? Did you have anyone? You were totally on your own, right? Yeah. No, I didn't know anybody. I have some friends. Um, I met them in, in Turkey. Yes. And um, no, I didn't know anybody here. Okay. Then when did you open up Mr. Most Realty or when did you start getting into real estate? That is a long time after right. that happens. Right. Uh, when I arrived here, to be honest, uh, I was confused. Um, I, I didn't, uh, nah, it's just uh, everything was, uh, was new for me. And, um, yes. <clears throat> um, I didn't know exactly what I should do, which area I should go study, and uh, I have a lot of questions myself, and uh, whether I should do some things which would be useful for this country, or I should go into some uh, um, uh, area which will be, I can use it back home. And uh, yes. when I was here, actually, I was uh, mostly was thinking, you know, I learn some things or I go and uh, have some kind of a skill can be um, can be used uh, in my back or when I go when I, I was going to go back and my plan was staying actually maybe four years or maximum six years to finish my education and uh, university then go back and, and uh, work uh, in uh, back in Iran back in Iran yes oh, wow. and, okay. uh, that times so I have a lot of uh, social dream and um, well, you know, I was uh, very young. I thought maybe actually I can change the world. Uh, I, I can bring a justice to the society. <laughs> I can, um, you know, get rid of the poverty. And uh, I can, um, you know, basically I have a lot of uh, big, big uh, um, goals. And yes. uh, well, I didn't have any actually tools in my hand to, uh, to, to achieve them. I have, it was just the idea, the big, big idea. Yes. Uh, and uh, and of course, when you have a very big idea, and then you feel you are not actually doing much things, you get frustrated. You yeah. You um you uh, you feel d disappointed, and uh, and uh, things doesn't move that fast. You know you expect it, and uh, and I was not. Uh, I that times I I would say. I feel I didn't experience the life itself, the, you know, what kind of challenge you have in society and you know, in job and, and so on. And um, so, uh, uh, as I said, I was very confused to see what I should, uh, you know, which area I should go to study and all these things. I, I, um, I have some uh, people to, uh, you know, I consulted them and, uh, but still I, I couldn't really go anywhere. And, mm. um, um, so then one day I, I draw a, a one uh, line of uh, one line in, in a page and I said okay let me see which area I'm going to study like for example either I'm going to study some things I have a passion about it like, mm -hmm. uh, you know I had a passion about um, you know uh, sociology and anything to do with the, with, the, with the people and there was another one um, I was thinking to go uh, study medicine or engineering or computer, and um, uh, still, really, I couldn't come up with the, uh, with a solution. So the solution I came up was, um, uh, I said I probably I would go and take a you know very um, uh, short course and uh, to find a job, and I did uh, for six months. Then I said, okay, after I find a job, uh, which I'm doing it, then I will go and study whatever really I, my heart goes. And, mm. and I detached uh, my subject of the studying from my job. I didn't go study because 
I wanted to really find a job on it. I, I had a passion about it, and uh, and at times I have, um, you know, uh, I like history, I like political science, and so on. That reason I went to economy and political science to my ma- my bachelor, and then history was my mm. uh, master. And um, uh, yeah, so that uh, took me about eight years. The same times I was studying, I was full time. Also, I was uh, going to university, also full time too. Wow! Um, it was uh, very, uh, you know. Uh, <coughs> uh, how did you deal with the language? Because how good was your English when you first came? The, my English, I knew some words, but uh, the thing is, uh, my pronunciation. Of, yeah. I didn't even uh, learn right way to pronounce those kind of vocabulary. Yeah. Um, I would say when I was back home, I thought maybe I know English, but when I came here, I, I noticed I, I don't know English. <laughs> so basically, I would say I start from the scratch. Yeah. Wow. So you started from scratch. Yes. And you spent eight years studying. Yes. And um, you got your, your bachelor's in politi- political science. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Then from University of Toronto. Yes. Yeah. So then, how did when where did you go? How did you end up in real estate? Oh, um, real estate. Uh, you see, I was thinking about uh, um, everything except sales. Uh, I didn't like sales. I thought maybe sales is not very productive things because I tried to sell some clothes and this kind of things. I. I noticed um, I'm not good at it, and I went to uh, some. Uh, uh, we did some prospecting after calling to get people to do some business, and I felt um, really it's, this is not for me. Um, I didn't think I would be really successful in mm. in, in in selling anything, mm. um, because my passion was teaching and you know going to. Uh, um, you know those kind of things, not not the sales. Um, but however, uh, during the time I was going to university and um, uh, when I was working, I um, I began to look for some houses to see whether I can purchase a house. Yeah. And uh, during that times, I meet some agents, and um, so uh, I find that uh, you know my. Um, my um, concept of with uh, sales and real estate uh, was not really accurate. Uh, I find uh, many, many of them they didn't know what they are doing, but there are some. There were some agents. It was fantastic. It's mm. uh, they have um, high. Um, they you know. They believe I uh, principal. Uh, mm. They. they it, it just uh, just shocked me. I said, "Wow, salesperson. They can be really." Um, very um, interesting and and uh, and people with the with the with, with the principal. Mm. Um, so uh, it this kind of things actually um, for two things I think one is I find that there are really really nice people in this industry. Another one I find that most of them they don't know what they are doing and mm. uh, they couldn't find identify my needs. Mm. And then I noticed you know this is an like area a lot of people actually they are putting their entire their investment and it is some mm. things maybe maybe I would be interested at the same time that time actually I bought uh, almost two houses and then I renovated myself and uh, I involved in the real estate and I feel wow this is really good things mm. and one thing about me is uh, any job any things I go into it I usually practice on myself I find that if I feel this is really good and it is uh, profitable it is uh, um, you know, then I um, I go and introduce to other people. Mm. So um, where while, while I was in university, then uh, in the last year, which I applied for going to do my PhD, uh, and uh, then same times I, I I I registered for real estate. I said, okay, let me go to see you know how is it. Mm. And that times um, I had some um, you know uh, uh, course. I was just a teacher assistant. Um, so, when I went to the, um, the real estate, and I said to myself, uh, let me see if I like it or not. Mm. Um, and I didn't know it really about financial situation. I didn't know how much money in real estate making. And um, I know they should have made some money, but I didn't know really. Mm. 
And that time I was making actually money to myself. I was making around 45,000 a year. So, uh, mm. um, and I have a stable job, but uh, I decided to, uh, you know, to, to go into it. Mm. So, um, what was your, your key? Because what got you through all the really challenging times? Because you came from with $100 to then getting through eight years of university, paying for yourself working full time whilst you did that you had almost like I mean you were on your own right I was in my own you're yes. totally on your own so well, how did you do it because I'll be honest there's not a lot of people who could mm -hmm. actually survive that yeah um, you see what happened is um, for t first two years I was a little bit confused too I didn't make uh, that much money I was uh, you know trying from one job to another one and uh, and um, but I think my breakthrough comes uh, when I after two years, which I think I had m I had saved me around five hundred dollars. I moved to Toronto, and um, and that time I was again in really bad state. Uh, I had uh, I have a lot of um, you know. Um, uh, challenge. Uh, I didn't have a job. I, my education, they, whatever I studied in back home, they wouldn't have been considered here. And um, there no relationship. And um, so everything is like was uh, kind of age. in bottom. <laughs> you can uh, really, uh, um, uh, you can uh, think of it. Yeah. And, um, so I think this is the time uh, one day I sit down and I wrote in, in a piece of paper, uh, still I have it, that one. Uh, and, and I talked to myself, I was smoking too. Um, uh, and I was depressed, I was, uh, you know, uh, just I was not talking to anybody and I just felt great. I, I actually, in a way I felt I'm just kind of uh, fall behind the, the game because uh, my social game, my political idea, my education, so my everything is just, I feel I am really in a big mess and big mm -hmm. crisis. Mm -hmm. So um, then uh, I think this time I, I write in, in a piece of paper, I said, I, I talked to myself, I said, you know what, um, what happened in the past is past, I cannot go back and change it. What is happening in future? I don't know future. If mm. the things comes that comes, I may have a new experience. I will deal with it. So how about if I fully engage at this moment and put all my effort, my thought mm. at this moment and work through it, at least later on, I won't regret. I mm. waste my time. Mm. So this is actually kind of, it was a turning point for me. Uh, and I start, um, you know, working and I, I was working in two, three places and uh, I took a course uh, in college. Uh, I went to, you know, learn English and uh, I got my, um, there is a um, certificate for the, you know, after 12, the, the grade 13, you, know, you can get here, then you go to university. So from this moment, I start shifting actually from thinking and Thinking, you know, uh, negative with past, blaming, you know, everybody. I felt, you know, I was kind of uh, taking advantage. Everybody used me, and uh, so I was kind of. I start here actually shifting my idea, mm. and I start taking responsibility. I said, you know what, what, uh, whatever happened, good or bad, people they did good or bad, it's gone. And also, I'm responsible for anything things have happened in the past, and also I'm responsible for happening now. And um, so, so from here, I, I you know I quit smoking, I started exercising, I start you know uh, working, going to universities. So I would say that is a kind of shift mm. happened in my life. Mm. And um, so, so from that moment when you decided to live in the present moment present moment and also I said I have to put uh, whatever it is on yeah. my capacity right now yeah. you know not to think too much about the future or the past yeah so the entire things start actually changing I feel better I feel 
more confident, you know, I was making money, I could stand on my own foot, I could, um, I could uh, you know, rent places mm. and uh, I could, you know, pay tuition and so on, yeah. Mm. Wow. So then um, when did you open up your own real estate agency? Oh, um, so then uh, I, um, I worked with 10 years, well, first I, I joined to um, Roller Page uh, for, uh, because one of my friends was there. Mm. Uh, I was I was there for shortly, every t I think uh, five or six months, and then uh, then I moved to Remax here in my mm. area of Villadale, and mm. um, so I worked away ten years there. And um, after ten years, I opened my my own business, uh, own own company, Mr. Most Realty. Yes. <laughs> wow, that's quite a story, Mos. Yeah. So. Would you say so? Is that the was that the biggest was one of the biggest gifts that you received out of going coming from one hundred dollars to now the biggest agency one of the, one of the the best agents in Toronto? What was the biggest thing that got you through all the tough times? Was it, was it that just one day at a time, like moment to moment? I'll tell you something, Sam. I went through so many uh, ups and downs, and um, and you say uh, I am. Uh, I have been top uh, 100 Remax agents uh, in the world. I uh, also I've been down there too. Um, there was a situation I uh, I just uh, take off uh, my focus and uh, you know went to uh, do so many fun stuff and uh, I, I fall behind the, the, the business. Um, so one my suggestion is uh, when you are in the any industry you got to be in it you have to be focused you have to just constantly working on it mm. success is very hard to achieve mm. but it's very easy to go away mm. um, it's uh, you have to you have to watch it really uh, because we are living in a society there is a lot of competitions and uh, there is uh, good and bad things about people. They are uh, faithful or not faithful. Um, mm. uh, no, 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 not many people. They are faithful, uh, which is good. You know, then you have a lot of business. <laughs> 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 but then again, you have to always show up with your best. Mm. If you provide a service, you know, ten times best and one time or two times sloppy, then the possibility the client might go away. Mm. So you got to, it's like a restaurant. You go there, you could go 100 times there and you eat the food and then one time you go there and you get sick and probably you never go back again. Yeah. So in service business, uh, you got to be all the times, uh, you know, act your, your best. So um, the, um, the question you ask... Uh, the biggest strength, the, the, what was the biggest thing that got you through? The biggest... Your biggest strength that got you through? Oh, my biggest strength, I think, uh, <clears throat> uh, because it's not really one, but I think one of the, uh, in business, uh, if you consider why I, I was um, doing really well, is um, I, uh, I, I put people first. Mm. I, um, any things I did, uh, first first question, whether I do this one for myself or for mm. my own families. And uh, and um, so that reason, you know, I mean, people, uh, it was easy to uh, trust. I guess trust comes first and also the expertise. And people, when they notice you have both of them, you have their business. And it doesn't matter, actually, they are your relatives or they are far or uh, right. they are from which nationality. Um, they, they will do business with you. As long as they, right. they feel that two things is there. And um, so uh, the first eight years I work actually as, um, you know, um, I was in salary base and uh, now I'm an entrepreneur. And uh, one thing you learn about the entrepreneur, which is, which is actually good, is constantly you change. Constantly you have to work. Constantly you have to look for the new strategy, new way to do the things, innovation, marketing, you know, all has to be ongoing. You cannot mm. just leave it by chance. Mm. So basically every morning you get up, you are an employee that you have to find your, you know, people to work with it. Um, awesome. Which that one actually, um, 
keeps your mind always active, always thinking, always, you know, looking for a new area, always looking for the extension, always mm. looking for new challenge, new people. Um, one of the reasons the real estate attracts me is um, is diversity, variety, you know, houses, they are different, people, they are different, and, and situations, they are different. So there's no one person or one situation is alike. And, and you learn from all uh, uh, kind of transaction, at least one or two things. And, and learning is ongoing. Mm. And, um, so that is, the, that is the, uh, the, the most important things I liked about the industry, which actually it matches with my character. Mm. I am a, I'm a person um, like variety. I'm a person cannot stand uh, status quo. Mm. Um, um, I am a person uh, get bored with a routine and, mm. uh, and uh, um, I like uh, I like challenge. I like mm. breakthrough. I like you know moving ahead. I mm. like to you know uh, yes. It's, it's just for some people security and stability and it's very important. For me, it's scary. I, <laughs> I operate best in, in the in, 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 in the, the growth in the, area. In the growth area, yes. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome.